All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. Hope you're all good. So some of you may know that I'm joining a band with Leo from Frog Leap Studios, which we're going to be doing live metal versions of his covers, which I'm really, really excited about. Very flattered that he asked me, and I'm just mega excited to get out there and play. Our first gig is on my 30th birthday on the 12th of May this year, 2018, in Stavanger, Norway, at a really cool venue that Leo's already sorted out. He's done a video that I'll put in the link in the description box and you can get tickets to come and watch us play. Come celebrate my 30th birthday with me, because it's a big one, as I'm sure some of you know that. Uh, but I'm just mega excited. I've never played a show on my birthday, and I'm really happy to be playing this particular show, because it's going to be loads of fun. All my mates are coming, and I think my parents are going to come along, so it's just going to be a great celebration, and a great, uh, you know, sort of entry as Frog Leap, the metal version, to uh, live application. So I'm really, really excited to get involved. This video in particular is just me briefly touching on the rig that I'm going to be using for this band. As some of you may have already noticed, sat to my left on the floor is a Line 6 Helix floorboard. So if you don't know what that is, essentially, if you're looking at you know like any kind of amp modeling like a Kemper or an Axe FX or anything like that, this is the same deal. It's an amp modeling guitar effects processor. So it can do lots of different models of amplifiers. It's got all built-in effects, you know, reverbs, delays, chorus, flanger, modulation, blah, blah, blah. It's all sorts of stuff. Now, normally I would use valve amps. I'm a valve amp advocate. I would always use valve amps where I can. And my big effects uh, pedal board that I use with my Strymons and everything like that. And of course, my uh, Chapman guitars and just generally guitars. However, with this band, it's a little more complex because we're flying around all over the place to play these shows, festivals, one-off gigs and I can't be spending loads of money on freight because it's expensive on my big pedal board, my amps and cabs and all that stuff. So I was like, how am I gonna do this? And Leo is using a Line 6 Helix and a Shuriken Variax. If you know the band 12 Foot Ninja, they are incredible, one of my favorite bands at the moment, loving their new album. Um, you should check them out if you haven't, they're really, really fun. Uh, and they're awesome, of course, incredible live as well. In any case, their guitarist Stevic Steve has developed a wicked guitar called a Shuriken. It's a Variax. And what a Variax does is it sends MIDI information to an effects unit like a pod or in this case a Helix and you can control the guitar, the tuning, the instrument type, whether it be acoustic, 12 string, banjo, all that kind of stuff. You can do all that with the marriage of the two. So I am going to be using a Line 6 Variax Shuriken Beast. Now this is a very cool looking guitar. It's very appropriate for the metal gig that we're doing. I'm going to be using my Chapman baritones and Chapman guitars as well. Uh, but this, the reason for this is because in Leo's set list, in one song he's jumping from you know drop A to drop C to E standard and back. There's no way you can do that with traditional instruments. So we have to adapt and it was something that I was dubious about at first, I was like, how am I going to do this? We went and rehearsed in Norway, and I was playing one guitar in drop A with my delay, reverb, you know, distortion pedals on the ground with the Kraken, and then had a whammy as well to try and detune for sections. It just didn't work. It was a lot of tap dancing, and it was really complicated. So Leo was like, try this out, see what you think. So at the NAM show, I went and spoke to the guys at Line 6 and explained my predicament. I said, look, I'm perfectly happy using my amps and my guitars and my pedalboard situation, but with this gig, I can't do that. I've got to change tunings and sounds and all sorts of stuff. And Leo is using this gear, and I wanted you to sort of give me the rundown of how it's going to be useful for me um, and how, if you think it's going to work. Matt and Mark from Line 6 had a chat with me at, at the NAMM show, and they were like, look, we think this is going to be useful for you. At least try it out and see what you think and see if it's going to work. So. They sent me a Shuriken and the Line 6 Helix to try. And suffice to say, it's absolutely amazing what you can do with this gear. I mean, as I said, I, I'm a big fan of the, the traditional gear, but this is very cool. So what I wanted to do is show you a couple of tones and how I'm using it for particularly one of the songs in the Frog Leap set list. So I've currently built this preset and it's I've built it in terms of each patch is a section of the song, so whether it be verse, chorus, intro, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I've actually got a screen grab going on of the Helix native app. If you see it on screen now, it's the same interface as what you get on the floorboard itself when you look at the uh, display. 
It's also worth mentioning that on the Variax itself, you've got two knobs here that can control your different presets within the Variax. If you use the Workbench HD uh, application, you can affect everything to do with the guitar. You can change the individual string tunings, you can change the pickups, you can change each position of this pickup switch could be a different type of pickup. I've set it up in a traditional way, so I've got position one as my humbucker, two as a blend, three as two humbuckers, four as a blend and five as my neck position. I've actually modded a Strat style neck pickup because I prefer that sort of tone. So it's, it's sick and after that I've set it as my preset on the shuriken itself and I'm leaving it. I'm not touching it after that because things can get really complicated if you're combining presets on the guitar with presets on the on the board. It's tuned to drop C because it's a nice halfway house between drop A and standard. So at the minute, unplugged. So that's the sound of the guitar unplugged in drop C and I've currently got the shuriken turned off right now so if I turn it on you'll hear my sort of heavy riffing tone. So that's drop C, I think it sounds really cool. I'm running a dual amp, hard pan left and right stereo setup with kind of two high gain amps, the Badonk, I think it's called, amp model in the Helix. But I have loaded on my own IRs. So I've got a few custom IRs that I've got uh, that I'm using, because it feels familiar, I know the sound of them and I like the way it sounds. But when I turn, <laughs> so the tuning that I've got for this particular tuning is drop A. At the minute, the shuriken's turned off, so it's not speaking in terms of the tuning to the pedal board right now. So, this is drop C. When I press the button, I think that's amazing that you can do that. The technology available available to us these days is, what, what can I say? I'm tuning this guitar by the push of a button from drop C to drop A. I could even tune this guitar to standard or say, let's say D standard. Um, so it feels like a normal guitar playing, you know, standard shapes. So check this out. So hopefully you can see on screen now the screen grab of the Helix. So I'm currently on the Variax window where I've got my tuning set to custom and you can see this is each individual string. So at the minute we're in drop A. Now if I tune this to sort of standard or in this case because I'm in drop C it's going to move up to drop C. Mental, mental. What I'm going to do now is move the E string up. So now we're in essentially D standard. I think that's just mental. So that's how I'm using the Shuriken and the Helix with my tunings. Now, each song has a different tuning, so each preset has to be tuned differently um, depending on the section. In this case, this is for Feel Good, which is the... Now, 
Now in the verse, it's like a chorusy kind of high pitched sort of thing like this. <laughs> As you could hear, I programmed a whammy on the expression pedal, which you can do. You can do all sorts of stuff with this, but that's that could be, you could control the pan with that, the volume, whammy, uh, effects to blend in and out. So that's my sort of verse thing. I've also got uh, banjo. <laughs> I've also got like a lead setting, which is uh, where I'm using a stereo rig, delay, reverb, so. So that's got stereo reverb and delay on it, and it's in drop A. So that was the sort of quality of the tracking of the guitar and the tone when I'm actually tuned not to the natural tuning of the guitars. This is in C. And I'm playing in drop A. <laughs> I think it sounds amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed. Hopefully you can see on screen as well. I'm just gonna give you the routing for this real fast so that if you want to uh, try it for yourself, you can. Um, I've got stereo amps set up with amps and the routing is basically quite simple. I just went on YouTube and found someone that knew how to do it and then I basically copied that. So. Um, but I tweaked it a little bit for my stereo reverb and delays at the end here. I will do another video where I'm showing you a little bit more in detail how I've built the patches. Um, but this was really just to go over like the presets and the cool stuff that I'm doing and to tell you that I'm actually playing in the Frog League Band and we're doing our first gig on my 30th birthday. But I just figured, let me show you some new gear. And, you know, just to, just to be clear, this is very specific requirements for a gig, you know. I'm sure some of you guys out there are session players and you do all sorts of different musical projects and as you know you need different gear for different jobs. The way it was looking when we were flying into and out of different gigs, there was no way I could take my big pedal board, my dual amp set up and you know num numerous guitars. I'm going to be taking this and either my baritone or my drop C Chapman uh, and the, the Helix and that is going to be how I'm gigging Frog Leap because it sounds great, it's easier easy to use once you get the hang of how to build presets and understand the Variax Helix relationship um, and yeah I mean other than that what else do you need if you're a session player or you need certain requirements from your rig I think this is a very very impressive intelligent intuitive way to do it and I guess I just didn't realize that it had that capability before until I tried it for myself. I knew the Helix was another great contender alongside your Kempers, your Axe Effects and all that stuff, but I had no idea that when you team up with the Variax just how amazing it is and what it can do. Very, very impressed. Thank you very much to Matt and Mark from Line 6 for supplying this gear and it's going to get a lot of use, I can guarantee that. I'm going to be doing more videos on this, showing you the workbench app and how I built my sort of guitar using different bodies, different pickups, you know, changing even the polarity of the pickups and the resistance of the pots, all that stuff, uh, alongside showing you how I'm building presets in the Helix. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to know what you think in the comment section below, so please let me know your thoughts, write them in the comment section, and uh, I'll put links in the description box to uh, tickets to the first gig with Frog Leap, 12th of May, my 30th birthday. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you're all good and I'll see you out on the road. Take it easy.